last person to present is going to be um, Barbara. Um, Shelley, her partner, is not here today, but I'm going to call Barbara up. And when Barbara is done, I will just read something that Shelley has asked me to um, read to you. The journey started, you know, the day I received a memo from the district office uh, from Gauteng West District, where I was invited to attend this, you know, this Partners for Possibility. A CD was sent to schools, and I had to uh, quickly, you know, go through the CD, but little did I understand what this meant for me. I attended at, at Matthew Goniwe. We were addressed by principals that had traveled the journey. And, you know, to be honest, I was angry with the district to say, why are they choosing old people like myself? <laughs> because I'm left with so few years, you know, to retire. They must invest in young people. But I'm standing today as a proud principal that has benefited, you know, a lot from this partnership. You know, the, the LC2 started at my school, at Mashudu Primary. It is also in an informal settlement, but it's a very beautiful school. A new model of uh, the, the 21st century model of schools. Uh, you'll think that I call it the, the University of Swanivel. So why were we included in the 66 schools? I asked myself a question because we're still fairly new, less than a, a four years old, but I want to believe that as a new school, there was the possibility of us underperforming. So I met with Shelley and Chantel at Mashudu, that's where uh, the LC2 started. As Barbara Fecha from Mashudu, I was this assertive uh, principal who thought, I, uh, you know, I've traveled the journey. I know everything about leadership. <laughs> uh, but, you know, through my involvement with P a a P a PFP, the synergy in all the workshops that I attended, flawless consulting, I learned to contract with my staff. I'm no longer this, you know, this dominating type of a principal, but I learned more to align whatever that I wanted to share with my staff, this alignment with the SMT. We are unique people. You know, I learned that everyone in the staff is unique. I knew that from long ago, from a good characteristics of a leader, from the books that I had read. But to put it in practice, you know, flawless thinking, you know, brought it closer to me. And it brought uh, the school, you know, the, the, the team, the SMT, the management, the staff, the SGB, the parents, you know, that improved also on their self-esteem and therefore on their involvement. The journey is still going off. It has not yet ended. So, um, Shelley just asked me to please uh, read this to everybody. She's not here. She's down at the coasts um, spreading the ashes of her son uh, in memory of his life. To Barbara, all of my fellow PFP Circle 12 principals and their partners, it is with a heavy heart that I write these words, not being able to join you for this closing celebration tonight of our year's journey due to the unexpected loss of my precious and youngest son in January. But it is also with a joyous heart that I write these words as I think of all that has been accomplished in this short time and all that can still be done and the endless possibilities we still have to make a difference to education in our wonderful country. Barbara and I committed right from the start to a journey together which would last until her retirement or until she decided she had had enough of me whichever of the two came first. We have much to do and I look forward to continuing with Barbara and supporting this wonderful program. My sincere appreciation to Louise van Rijn for all the hard work and commitment to this initiative through tough times and to her dedicated team and facilitators. I hope to see you all soon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.